Oh my gosh. <gasps> it's working. It's actually mixing it. These are so weird. Oh my God, it's sliding everywhere. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we are going to be trying out some more weird beauty tools. I actually did a very similar video to this about a month ago and you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys haven't seen it already, I'll link it in the eye. But honestly, I had a blast. I had so much fun trying out all these weird and wacky tools. So today we're doing the same thing. I've got five new beauty tools to try out for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy. Welcome to my channel if you guys want to stick around and make sure you guys subscribe down below but if you guys want to see some weird beauty tools being tested then without further ado let's get on into the video all right guys so first things first I have a new brand to introduce you to and that is called Rowenta and yes these are two empty boxes and no you don't get this as the product so my tools aren't actually in their packaging anymore because I've actually been trialing them for about two weeks now so before Rowenta reached out to me to work with me on this video I actually never heard of them before I think they're very new to the UK. I think they're just launching. So it's really exciting that I get to like show you guys a brand new brand that's just coming. But yeah, this is what I've been trying out for about two weeks now. So the collection I'm sharing with you guys today is called My Beauty Routine. And this product in particular is called the Anti-Blemish Facial Brush. So this is what the product looks like. And I've actually got mine plugged into my extension lead right here, which is why I'm like holding it kind of off center. This is actually the charging base, which is really cool because this has induction charging. So you literally just drop the head in here and it starts charging just like that. So as I've mentioned, this is the head. It's like a really nice snug to hold kind of head. And then the actual brush comes off of the head and is stored in this little LED sanitizing zone. So as you guys can see, it's got blue LED inside. And what that does is it just, it gets rid of any germs that might be on the brush, which I think is so cool and so sanitary. I just love the design of this. I think it's so sleek. It looks so smart and it just does the job. So once I've taken my head out of the sanitizing station, I just clip it into the head like this. And there's only one button on here. The whole device is waterproof, by the way. And all you do is you just press it once or you press it twice if you want it to be faster. But yeah, this device is really easy to use. What I like to do is literally just apply this onto my skin with my favorite cleanser and just rotate it in circular motions. It literally only takes a minute to use this tool and it is so easy and so simple. So reading up about this product, they claim that this is seven times more efficient than hand cleansing, which I mean, I totally agree with that statement. It also minimizes impurities and pores by 95% and your skin is 100% clearer. The main feature of this device is the fact that it's got ultrasonic vibration technology which means that the head doesn't rotate and when the head rotates it's a little bit harsh on the skin so that's why they opted for vibrations instead. The actual brush head on this is nylon and the whole device has about an hour of use if you just literally use it the whole time and I think that's pretty cool considering you only really use it for a minute. So once I'm done cleansing my face I literally just pop it back into the station the LED comes on automatically and I just remove the brush and pop it in there to sanitize. So in the last two weeks that I've been using this device, I have found that all of my blemishes are definitely minimizing, which I think is absolutely amazing because I've been struggling with my skin for quite a while now. I think this would actually make such an amazing gift for someone for Christmas this year as well. The packaging is so nice and the device is so good. Like it will literally be used every single day. Now the next product I have to share with you guys is also from Rowenta, but this one is slightly different. So here it is. This is the second product and this one is called the Anti-Fatigue Eye Massager. So this is the actual device it is super compact and really really small so I feel like it'd be great to travel with so this tool again is really really simple it's only got two modes so the first mode is vibrating so when you come in contact with skin it will start vibrating or the second mode is light and vibration so as you guys can see it's got like a blue LED light once again which is amazing for purifying your skin but then when it comes into contact with your skin it also vibrates. So I've been using this alongside my eye cream every single night and I have actually noticed that my under eyes look way less dry and just really like rejuvenated and plump. I've always been kind of skeptical about light therapy and whether it works or not, but having tried this under my eyes for the last two weeks, I actually have to say I do see a visible difference. So the way to use this tool is to apply your eye cream as usual and then turn it on to whatever mode you want and then you basically just pat it under your eye and let it do its thing. So this tool helps to reduce the appearance 
appearance of fatigue under your eyes by 70% and because it's got high frequency vibrations it also really works the muscles under your eyes which is so important. I feel like your eyes need the most TLC because it is the first place that you see signs of aging and things like that so having a little tool like this in your everyday routine is honestly so beneficial. So having used these two tools for about two weeks now like I said I actually do really recommend them. I think they are really worth the money and they are so easy to use. The combination of these two products has definitely helped me feel more confident in my best skin without any makeup so if you guys want to try them out I'll link them in the description. Okay so now moving on to the next weird beauty tool I found this. This is a mini trimmer and it's for your eyebrows, it's for your armpits and all kinds of hair that is uh, unwanted apparently. That's what it says on the box. I never realized that these actually existed like for your eyebrows and stuff. So I'm really keen to try this. I could end up with like half my eyebrow gone by the end of this video, but stay tuned. So this one I got from Amazon, which is always a little bit like, mm, it could be good or it could be terrible. I guess we'll see. Okay guys, so this is what the product looks like. It's basically just a little trimmer, but it looks like the head rotates, which is kind of cool. Does it actually rotate? Oh, it does look. So it can either be straight or like slightly angled. That's kind of cool. Obviously it's then got the lid so you can like travel with it and keep it safe. It's also got a little razor guard. I suppose that's to maybe over, whoa. The whole thing just slid out of the bottom. I don't think that was supposed to happen. Oh my gosh, every time I open it, like the whole device just slides out of its case. I'm just interested to see how the actual razor will do on its own with no guards. So I mainly purchased this product in mind of like using it for my eyebrows because I always have this one brow here that gets so long. And if I can just sort it out in like a matter of seconds, that would be great. So I'm probably gonna use it like here above my brow and maybe like on the tail. I guess we'll see. I'm just really scared. I've just realized why this whole thing slides out and that is because that's the only way to put the battery in. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so battery is in, we're ready to go. I'm gonna turn it on and see if it works. I'm kind of scared. Three, two, one. Ooh. This is really weird. The blade doesn't move. Is this supposed to move? It doesn't move. Is it actually gonna do anything? Should I really be trying this device on my eyebrow as the first thing? I guess we're gonna do it. Okay, here we go. It works. Let me try and do this little bit here. It works. Wow, this is really good. I am very impressed. I've just cleaned up my eyebrows a little bit. I feel like there wasn't all that much, but like I had all these little tiny hairs that I can never pluck. But with this, it was so easy to remove. I don't know how well you guys could even see that because obviously my eyebrow hairs are so small, but I hope you guys kind of just got to see how this device works and I'm actually really pleased. I feel like my eyebrows definitely look so much neater now, especially now that I've kind of trimmed this one right here, which is always so long. I am actually very pleased with this little mini trimmer. I mean, obviously there's so many different uses for it. You could use it on your face, you could use it on your upper lip, but personally, I really like it for eyebrows. I think I'm actually gonna rate this a 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on to the next weird beauty tool we're gonna be trying out is this. So this is called the Cryo Sticks, Cryo Facial for home use. I actually tried something very similar in my last beauty tools video, but those were like the like ice balls. So they were completely made of glass, which I mean, is kind of risky because it could completely smash everywhere. So when I saw these, I was really intrigued because these are actually made of metal. So they still have the water inside them, just like the other ones, like the ice globes, but it's completely metal, so they're not gonna smash. So this is supposed to calm, soothe, and depuff your face. They are kind of weirdly shaped, I have to say. Compared to the ice globes, these are so weird. Like the shape is just, 
I don't know, it just looked really strange to me. So these are supposed to calm, soothe, and depuff your face. So the way to use it is start in the center of your forehead and then glide the tools out towards the hairline and temples. You can also use them to depuff your eyes by using the tip of the tool and just add a little bit of pressure. I'm actually filming this video in the morning right now, so I do have slightly puffy eyes. I just popped them in the fridge overnight and we're just gonna see if it works. I'm actually gonna do one eye at a time because I wanna see if there's actually any difference. So I'm just gonna pop it right here and just hold it for a little bit and we're just gonna see if it really depuffs me. <laughs> Holla at your girl in the comments if you also get puffy eyes in the morning because sometimes I feel like I'm the only one. Anyway, this feels really, really nice under my eyes. Like anything cold always just feels so soothing and just really wakes me up. The shape, I have to say, is slightly awkward. I mean, it's okay if I use it this way but it doesn't really work if I use the big bit. It feels so freaking good though. Oh my gosh, my eye is so red now but... I do have to say, I look slightly puffier on this side right here. It could just be my studio lighting, but this side always looks way more puffy for some reason. I'm gonna do the same thing on my forehead. Oh my God, that feels so good on my forehead. Apparently icing your face is supposed to be really, really good for your pores and your skin in general. So I feel like this is a really cool habit to like get yourself into. I actually take it back about the shape. Having used this on my actual face now, I actually really, really like the shape because it just slots into the bigger parts of your face like your cheekbones. I literally could sit here all day doing this. This feels so nice and so relaxing. Okay, so what are we thinking? This is the side I did. This is the side that I left. And I do have to say, this side looks a little bit puffy here. It always does. I'm gonna use the other one now and try and do the side and see if we can make it look better. Make sure you guys make a mental note of what this looks like right now. I'm just gonna use the tip and just place it right there on that puffy area. And I'm gonna leave it there for like a few minutes and just see what happens. Okay, having done this eye now, I mean, let's just compare. I actually feel like visually it looks a lot less puffy. I don't know if it's translating as well on camera as it is to me in real life, but I can literally see that that little pocket of puffiness is pretty much gone back into my skin. So yeah, I have to say, if you struggle with puffiness, these definitely work. They're a really good investment. They weren't too expensive. I think they were like 20 pounds. Again, I got these off of Amazon and I would say these are actually a lot better than the like glass ones that I got in my last video. I think these are gonna be way more durable than the glass ones as well because these are made of metal. But I also really like the shape. Like it's a lot easier to get into certain areas of your face with this shape rather than like a giant ball. So now moving on to the very last product of this video. I have right here a face mask making machine. I have been seeing these all over Instagram. I feel like Jay Jamie has one. I'm pretty sure Sophia Nygaard has one. And I constantly see them making really cool masks out of like random things. So when I saw this on Amazon and I think it was like 30 pounds, I just knew I had to get it. So this is called the Fruit Mask Machine. Your mask making center. It's got all the different steps of how to make your your face mask. I'm hoping there's gonna be like a recipe guidebook of some kind inside because I just don't know what to use to make my face mask out of. Ooh, it's actually really cute. It's really small. Look at it. This is so adorable. It literally looks like a tiny little blender. I actually love it. We've got another box. I'm pretty sure in here is like the other stuff that you're supposed to mix into the mask. Yep. So this is the effervescent mask. That's literally what it says. It says, do not eat, this is not food. And then in here, I think this is the little mask mold. <gasps> yes, it is. Oh, look. Okay, I feel like I should actually read this. So in here, you've got mask menu. You can actually like get ideas of what to put in here. Ooh, you can make a cucumber mask. You can make a peach mask. I mean, you could literally make a mask out of anything. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get a juice from the supermarket because I don't have time to blend my own fruit right now. <laughs> so I'll be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I've got my juice. I've actually already done this first step, which is filling this little device with 60 ml of water. Having read the leaflet, the water actually has to be 85 degrees or above or else this device won't even turn on. So now that I've added my water, I'm now gonna go ahead and add 20 ml of juice to this little solution. So I just got some smooth orange juice just to really try this out. Okay. That's looking pretty good. I'm guessing all there's left to do is to add one of these little capsules. So I'm just gonna 
pop it open. So I think what this capsule is for is to like add the solidity to the mask. Oh my gosh, it's foaming. It's fizzing. I guess all I'm gonna do now is pop the cap on, turn on the machine and let it do its thing. Oh my gosh. <gasps> It's working, look! It's actually mixing it. That is so freaking cool. I honestly love this device so far. I really hope that the mask will be decent and that it will work because this is so cool. So in the leaflet it says the mixing time is three to five minutes. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and let it mix. Ooh, I think it's finished. It just started beeping on its own. So I'm gonna pull this now. Ooh, and my time is going off as well. I'm gonna pop this in to the mask mold, but I think I'm gonna have to like film it over there on the table. So I'm gonna like insert a little clip of me filming it on my iPhone. Okay, here we go. I'm just about to pour this into here. This is actually really satisfying. I really like this. Okay, so all the solution is in. You then use this little knife to like spread it all the way to the edges. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Like the consistency is just like jelly. I'm really worried that I didn't mix enough solution because it's like not going to the edges. Okay, I've successfully spread it all into the edges. So I'm gonna let this set now for about 10 minutes, I think, and then we will peel it out together. Okay, I'm back. It's probably around 20 minutes after I've poured this. I've let this set for literally ages. And for some reason, it just hasn't really solidified. I actually ended up putting this in the fridge to just kind of speed up the process of cooling down and it didn't really do much. I'm sorry, but like that is literally sliding off in one big slodge. I have a feeling this is gonna be very, very messy. So what I'm gonna do <laughs> is I'm literally just gonna put this over my face because I don't think this will be coming off in one piece. I really thought that I was gonna have a whole mask that I could like lift up and show you guys, but this has completely just not solidified. So I guess all I'm gonna do is just pop this on my face and let it slide off. Hang on, I need to prepare myself for this. I'm gonna tie my hair back because I know this is gonna be so messy. Okay, here's my mask, here's my face. Three, two, one. Oh God, no. Oh God, no, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Oh my God, it's sliding everywhere. Nope, that did not work one bit. Hang on. No, it's a no from me. It's literally just slid all over my lap. Why? Why did I think this was a good idea? Look at this mask. It is absolutely come apart in bits. It has not solidified. It is not that lovely one piece mask that everyone else on Instagram is managing to achieve. This is what happens when you try and do something at home. This was not worth it. On that note, I'm gonna finish this video here. I've literally got bits of orange mask all over my face. Does this even do anything? Maybe I just need to like rub it in and that will be enough. I should have not done that. Okay, this was a bad idea. This whole product, I'm giving it a thumbs down. But yes, on that note, I'm gonna finish the video here looking like this. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Let me know if I did anything wrong with this mask, this last product, because I feel like I followed the instructions, but clearly something went wrong along the way. As always, thank you guys so much for being here and watching this video. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in my next one where I look a little less ridiculous. Bye! Mwah.